If you want to co-create reality, realize you're already co-creating it. You're already sending signals from your pineal gland to your heart and toroidal field, and those signals are sending themselves out into the ether, literally changing the quarks and how the quarks vibrate based on your frequencies and your reality projection. Hello guys, what's up? It's Megan, and I want to talk about my experiences using subliminal messaging and how subliminals actually work scientifically, talking about string theory talking about quantum physics and your subconscious mind and dark matter in today's video we want to talk about how subliminals can change reality and how i've had a lot of ethical dilemmas and like a lot of moral dilemmas with it sometimes and how people use subliminals only for themselves and i feel like we should be using subliminals on a wide scale to really give literally everybody a perfect happy life and a perfect happy existence here on earth so let's get into it your subconscious mind is so powerful and we don't even realize all of the stuff that's in our subconscious mind or all of the stuff that goes into our subconscious mind. When we're walking around every day, there is so much stimulus and so much stimuli in terms of information and quantum fields that we're entangling ourselves with and we don't have the time to pick apart each little thing that we see. So what happens is all of this information kind of just goes straight into our conscious mind and it's filtered and it goes into our subconscious and our subconscious sees everything that's here and sees and experiences and picks it up. And then maybe later that night, we'll dream about something that was significant to us, but we didn't consciously pick it up in the daytime. So we dream about it in a subconscious state. Subliminals are all about accessing that subconscious mind and that part of yourself that's kind of hidden from your lucid everyday day-to-day so you're able to explore that realm and that part of yourself that has remained hidden for most of your life. And the more you do this, the more that you're going to have an easier ability to do it with or without something called a subliminal. So you could just access this part of yourself, even if you don't listen to a subliminal or even if you don't consciously try to. What I see it as is the conscious and the subconscious mind start to become one. And we can even go into higher states like the hyperconscious mind and... um getting into bigger places than just the subconscious mind because you don't have to stay in the subconscious. There's um, a collective unconscious as well that is connected to every single mind and it's like a hive mind and it's a collective unconscious that dictates and experiences reality. So the way I like to see it and the way that's proven by a lot of quantum physics and a lot of string theory is that everything is seriously just vibration. And Three, we know that protons and neutrons are actually created with materials called quarks and quarks are really the smallest type of material and in these quarks there is something called matter and antimatter and they're in all the quarks and there's also these strings that vibrate at a harmonic frequency on the quarks these strings have anti nodes and nodes and they're similarly compared to something like an organ or a musical instrument and they move and vibrate and i think that through that vibration i don't think but this is what i've you know researched through that vibration it creates different types of matter and different types of materials so if we have that ability to influence those strings on the quarks and at that quantum level with our minds because it's proven that our minds and our reality are really one in the same. Like there's no differentiation between my mental thoughts and the, the, this is a holographic type of universe and our thoughts are imprinting themselves and moving the very strings in the quarks that make up the atoms that make up our faces, our bodies, our minds, our houses, our the ground we walk on. And we're imprinting and moving and changing that day to day. And one of the things is that the subconscious mind is such a huge powerhouse and it's kind of like it's turned off for so many people. Um, how many of you guys actually remember your dreams or actually remember what you just dreamed like three nights ago? Not even just like last night. Do you guys even remember that? Well, that's all your subconscious mind. Remember so if you that, can, how much of your subconscious are you really aware of and elucidating in your day to day life? Probably very little and you know it's 60,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind here's another thing for you 70 percent of matter is actually dark matter and that's crazy because we don't really know exactly what dark matter or antimatter is 
And scientists are continuously discovering more and more dark matter in the universe, and they think that it's expanding. My theories are that the dark matter directly integrates itself and works with our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind, especially in a lot of representations of it, more dark matter in the universe, and they think that it's expanding. My theories are that the dark matter directly integrates itself and works with our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind, especially in a lot of representations of it, is represented by the moon and by Lilith and by darker entities. By It's kind of like the opposite of the sun in a lot of um, esoteric stuff. It's represented as you know the black sun or the moon as opposed to the sun. And it's our feminine versus our masculine quality. And so maybe this subconscious mind actually interacts with the 70% of antimatter and dark matter. Because everybody thinks that there's this air and this space around us, this non-luminous energy is ever expanding. And maybe we are creating it. Maybe we are putting that um, through with the images and the words that work with and interact with our subconscious minds. And this is an empowering thing. And this is um, also a very like heavy duty thing. You know, you have a duty to use this um, information, use this knowledge in a way that is going to be positive, in a way that's going to be ethical, in a way that isn't just going to be, you know, for everybody's own benefit and everybody's own gain. And I think that's one of the biggest messages that I want to get through. So there's this field of energy that surrounds us and everybody thinks like, Oh, I'm just breathing and I'm just living in this empty space and I'm just in this empty room and like I can't touch the TV behind me because there's distance between us like all of that is false like you're not actually living in um, this confinement or this like spaced out sequence like you're living in a soup where everything has this conscious energetic field and your mind is directly involved it's directly there in that conscious energy field and you can interact with other people's minds because they're directly in that conscious energy field too so your subconscious mind that is the dark matter your subconscious mind literally is and interacts with the dark matter that is how we can change reality in what seems to be a way that looks like magic or looks like, you know, non-visual. Like we don't see how we're doing it, but we are doing it because we're interacting with this dark matter. We're interacting with this anti-matter. And I hope that, actually, I don't want to end it like that. Um, but yeah, basically going to the front, the beginning of the video, I really just want to say that subliminals are something that are really good thing for you to do they're a really good thing for you to use um as long as you just use it with a pure heart um but yeah basically going to the front the beginning of the video i really just want to say that subliminals are something that a really good thing for you to do they're a really good thing for you to use um as long as you just use it with a pure heart okay with pure intentions as long as you're not like delving into stuff that's like negative or delving into stuff that's you know dealing with evil things or dealing with things that that take things you're doing things that don't take away energy from the whole you know as long as you know you're rebalancing yourself as long as you're doing stuff that brings good and positivity to others you know and i think people know this i think people know this and the biggest thing is to kind of tap in and take energy from the zero point energy field as opposed to taking energy from others or taking a lot of energy from yourself, we always need to regenerate our energy fields. And that keeps us from having, because I've seen this in people who have come to me and said like, you know, I've had bad experiences and I've seen, you know, the subliminals and people having nightmares and right. And I, I know I did a lot of videos on that before. Um, and I don't think all subliminals, you know, can be evil, obviously. So what I've found and what I've concluded is that this these people are taking energy and they're taking it from negative places they're taking it from places where the energy is dark and they're actually tapping into um very dark kind of principalities or very dark entities literally and these entities are making them have these nightmares and not just detox that kind of happens when you're involved in taking your previous belief about something and kind of flipping it 
and there might be fears or prior I don't know how to, it's kind of like I like you're not really wanting to go there yet you know what I mean and that can create maybe these fears coming to the surface like bubbling up from a soup you know like how they're bubbling up bubbling out and you can either choose to ignore it or send energy to it but obviously I believe to ignore it now and to ignore that fear and to just come into a place of you know higher vibrational love really so what's the goal here you really want to entangle yourself in the quantum field you really want to be one with that quantum field i mean you already are one but you want to realize that and you want to take full advantage of that you don't want to just be another floating particle that is not aware of its creator abilities and you'd want to tap into that you want to use that because why not you know and the quantum field this is a zero point energy field basically means that it's a void so like you could get anything from that field like there's there's an infinite amount of possibility and potential coming from the zero point energy field and in quantum physics that's like what you want to tap into and that's like what in manifestations as well that's like what you want to tap into to get that going and it comes from a sense this field doesn't apply to the newtonian laws of physics this field is completely out of that it's just like anything goes anything is ready to go and anything works in that field so basically string theory says that everything is vibration i feel like most of us already know this but it also says that physics and subatomic particles defy the laws of Newtonian physics. Some particles can go through walls, some particles can superposition themselves, particles don't need to be directly together to interact with each other, and M theory says that everything is connected at the subatomic sub level, which is like a bit of a singularity, and it shows that everything is connected. If I, if I give you one thing that you understand from this video, it's that everything is connected. And a one great example of this that's kind of a little bit old school, but why not, is basically gossiping. And when people gossip about someone else, they think that that person is never gonna hear the gossip that they're saying. They think that they're in this like vacuum, right? Or you think your thoughts in your mind about someone else are in a vacuum. What if I told you that's not true? What if I told you that your thoughts actually send out electrical impulses and that you just have to be fine-tuned enough to hear that, to see it, and that we can measure it pretty much? And your thoughts in your mind are not your own thoughts, okay? Your thoughts in your mind are directly interacting with matter and you're also getting in thoughts from the matter that's around you and from other people that are around you because sometimes we pick up on that or if there's enough of an egregore kind of, of thoughts, we pick up on that whole thing and it influences us, it influences our reality. So people think like talking about someone behind their back, they're not going to hear it. They are going to hear it. You are influ You can train yourself to be more attuned with that. But what happens naturally when you listen to a subliminal is you actually are attuned to that realm where there's a collective unconscious. So you'll pick up on a lot of things. And you can train yourself to be more attuned with that, but what happens naturally when you listen to a subliminal is you actually are attuned to that realm where there's a collective unconscious. So you'll pick up on a lot of things. And the more that somebody's mind is kind of like connected to that, the more that they're able to not only change their own reality, but the reality of others. And that's a huge responsibility as well. Um, we can see how movies, TV, and programming work on a mass level to change that subconscious programming and to change that. And we have kind of a duty to not be bad, basically, to not be, you know, to be ethical, really, to be ethical and to be using ethical concepts when we're doing this. If you don't, then you basically are practicing black magic because you're only doing stuff that benefits you and benefits the individual. The laws of physics don't apply at the subatomic level then the laws of physics also don't apply to subliminal messaging and that's how we see crazy stuff happen that's how we see people able to have telekinesis to have omnikinesis and different abilities that defy our traditional newtonian ideas in the laws of physics 
okay? And this stuff is going to come out, you know, more and more as it gets more popular and as people start to wake up in consciousness. And that's why it's important to really be open-minded when you're listening and understanding this type of thing. So we are recognizing that field. We are recognizing our subconscious today. And we're understanding that through subliminals and through talking to yourself and through just not programming yourself with stuff that is negative or stuff that you don't want to see in your reality, we can create a better and happier, healthier existence for every single person on this planet. And we can really bring this information out and bring it into people in the right hands. And I hope that you can share this video if you felt inspired and everything. And I really appreciate all that you guys um, do and everything that you guys comment and all the support and everything like that. So awesome. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon and have a great day great rest of your day i love you guys bye i'm gonna go outside it's really nice out and yeah i'll see you guys soon